First of all, anytime you can beat the uh, fighting soup, it's a feather in your cap. They're a well-run program. Uh, we have a lot of respect for them, and uh, the kids play hard. Our coaches know each other. Our players know each other, and they've, they've, they've had our number. I mean, uh, it's about time we won a game against them, and uh, God bless these kids for, for hanging in there and playing, playing really hard and playing really well. Um, I thought the keys to the game were exactly what we talked about prior to. Don't give up big plays because they had scored on an abundance of big plays. Very few red zone shots that they had because they were scoring from a long way out. And uh, I thought our defense fought and hung in there and made a chip and chip and chip. Uh, you know, and then uh, offensively we needed to get a run game going. I, I don't know what we rushed for, but uh, it was good enough. Uh, and uh, we, had, we were committed to it because I do see we had 42 rushes, uh, which was important for us. Dante Warren's a difference maker. And uh, we're certainly glad Will Powell's got to stick him or whatever he has. <laughs> so I'll answer any questions. Wait, so what can you say about the defensive effort today? Nice I, 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 uh, I thought, I'll be real honest, guys, if you just take us back and skip the 10 minutes of the third quarter of NDSU, that's how we've been playing defense. Even against Central Florida, we were making them do things the hard way. Uh, we got out of kilter. And I thought we put our defense last week in some tough situations. We did not this, this week, and even if we did, we were able to play ourselves out. So uh, I, I, I am very excited about the way they played. Uh, we played a ton of guys, and uh, you know, we lose your starting corner, I think, on the second play of the game, and Chris Fireson comes in and makes a big, couple of big time plays there on the course. Number of late hit penalties a concern? No, uh, I told our guys to play as hard and fast. I, I think it's very unfair in this environment. Uh, you can't tell if the guy's going to turn up the field and, and uh, no, answer your question, no. I, I would rather be aggressive than unaggressive. And as fast as North Dakota plays on the surface, you better make sure his rear end gets knocked out of bounds. So. I thought Kevin Rob really found this story today. Uh, kicked off extremely well. Uh, uh, I think he had a low kick on the other one. Um, but uh, May turned around and made a 42, 43 yarder. And the kickoff the field position, though they had good field position most of the day, uh, they, they got a couple dangerous guys there. Dominique's real dangerous, uh, as, uh, as obviously the tailback is uh, uh, Murray. So uh, it was a tough day, but uh, I thought he kicked the ball extremely hard. A couple nice catches by Will Powell yeah. on those multiple touchdowns. The first one is they reach out for one hand and the other one in the corner. Then. Yeah. Um, Will Powell's, he does it every day in practice too. Will's a stud, right? he is. And, uh, we're trying, and, and for the record, we were not trying to score in the last part of the game. We're trying to waste nine seconds. I said, do anything but throw a touchdown, but get it out of the end zone. So, um, uh, he is a playmaker and a difference maker at this, at this level. Coach, uh, Jerry Blunt is kind of the guy that's been around. You kind of hoping he's going to get loose and do something today that is. Jeremy's been playing really well for us. And remember last year, I think he was playing pretty well for us early on, and he broke his arm on the kickoff, and we lost him for a while. And, you know, kind of out of sight, out of mind, you know, what happens. And uh, every time we can get him the ball, he does have an extra step that some other guys don't have. Uh, so we try to give it to him, and we try to hand it to him in a lot of different ways. Uh, as far as the defense is concerned, you, you take out those 10 minutes and you got, I mean, how would you describe what kind of defense that is? <laughs> we are, we take bend but don't break to a new level. Um, we played better the more snaps that we make teams play. And it sounds like a stupid comment, it probably is coming out of me, but uh, the, the more that we make teams take things in chunks, we, we're patient enough to do that. Eventually, we always say, eventually an offense is going to screw it up, they're going to take a penalty, or they're going to turn it over. And, uh, our guys have been very patient. Coach, uh, when I had talked to you earlier in the week, you said that you guys wanted to get over the hump of uh, beating you. Um, do you think that kind of set in when you guys uh, went into halftime with the 18 point lead? Uh, we, 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 we treated halftime a little differently. Uh, you know, I, I asked the kids at halftime, uh, what's the score? And of course, they do the standard 0 0. I said, no, it's not. It's 21 3. And you are all over these guys. You need to stay over, all over these guys. Sometimes you got to pump these kids' chest to let them know, you know what? Maybe you're better. You ever think of that? You know, and, and, and that's what we, we're a young team, and sometimes you have to teach these guys from square one. Um, and I thought our guys adjusted, did very well. Even after North Dakota came down and scored right away, like you knew the Sioux was going to answer. Um, we kind of things got back in, back uh, around when we took the field goal and got you know, kind of get the law and order back.